Thank you to Datacamp for sponsoring this video. Do you want the Blue Oval's latest EV offering, the Ford F-150 Lightning? If you answered yes, then you're not alone. Tons of people have been pre-ordering the Lightning, and it makes sense. Ford has had the best-selling pickup line in the U.S. for decades. Clearly, they've got some level of expertise. And now people are wondering if they can repeat that success of their F-Line when they take it electric. Anyways, because of the massive amounts of demand via pre-orders, dealerships have been taking advantage of the situation. And when I say taking advantage, I mean preying on their customers. Some dealerships have been telling their customers who pre-ordered the Lightning that they have to pay thousands of dollars to keep their pre-order. Like check out this email from a dealership in Virginia to a customer who had already pre-ordered the Lightning and already put down a deposit to reserve his place in line. It says, if you'd like to be one of the first 25 orders, there will be a third $35,000 market adjustment. All other orders will have a $10,000 market adjustment to the MSRP. We will not be honoring any plan pricing at this time. The additional deposit required is $5,000 and will go towards the purchase of your vehicle. If you choose to cancel or not proceed with your order, the deposit will be forfeited. And I feel like this can't be stated clearly enough. That email was sent to a customer who had already pre-ordered and put down their deposit. And and now they're saying if they want to keep their pre-order, they have to pay another 10 grand. And even then, if anyone else pays 30 grand, then they'll get to jump to the front of the line. And one of the worst parts is that that additional deposit is non-refundable. So if the dealership is taking too long to fill the orders, or if the customer finds a better deal elsewhere, well, guess what? They're now stuck. It's incredibly anti-consumer and in my opinion is downright predatory. The dealership is seeing that they have a high demand for these lightnings and then after they have the pre-orders for those lightnings, they're scalping some of their customers. And it's not just this dealership. You can find countless examples of this exact behavior going on all over the US. I was personally sent emails very similar to this one by loads of people in different states all of them were disgusted with this anti-consumer behavior. The problem is, if you're a customer and you want this truck or any new vehicle, you have very few options because new vehicle sales in many states are required to go through a licensed dealership, giving dealers a near monopoly that's entirely protected by law. This is because over the course of the last 100 years, dealerships have lobbied for franchise laws to protect their business. And because dealerships provide the state with such a significant amount of tax revenue, the government is highly motivated to work with them. Dealers also give money to politicians who will then in turn act in the dealer's best interest because they've been funded by the dealer's money. And the dealers and their politicians got laws passed to make it illegal to open up dealerships within another dealer's territory and made it illegal to sell new cars unless you're a dealer. So you can only sell cars if you're a dealer and you can only open up a dealership if you aren't in another dealership's territory, which in practice makes it so that new competition can't be created against already existing dealers, essentially carving out a monopoly for the car dealerships that are entirely protected by law. Not only can this be bad for consumers trying to buy cars, but it also can be bad for Ford. The incredibly high markups and anti-consumer practices will drive people away from from buying these new trucks. And also, even though Ford isn't directly responsible for the dealership's actions, it does look really bad for them, and a lot of people will blame Ford for the dealership's choices. So here's where we finally have Ford stepping in and making some much needed changes. But before we get into those changes, but before we get into those changes, I want to talk about this video sponsor and advocate of lifelong learning like myself, Datacamp. Datacamp is an online learning platform that tailors towards the understanding and manipulation of data. Even before I started this channel, I've always thought that if you can read and comprehend data, then you're at a huge advantage compared to those who are having to rely on others to interpret that data. They have hundreds of data science courses for both beginners and experts. And if you don't know where to start, they have a free assessment to get you personalized recommendations. Whether you're trying to progress in your career or you're like me and you just like learning for the sake of learning, Datacamp has you covered. I personally am particularly interested in their class about data analysis in Excel so I can learn how to better visualize and present data to you here on YouTube, hopefully making my videos more informative and easier to understand. Use my link in the description box below and check out the first chapter of any Datacamp course for free. All right, so in the past, when Ford saw this kind of behavior from dealerships, when they were price gouging consumers, Ford made public statements like this one. 
Ford shares recommended pricing for all vehicles with dealers and customers. Ultimately, customers and dealers will agree to the final pricing, which is basically saying that they're keeping the hands-off approach and letting the customers fend for themselves. Not a particularly good look. I understand why they took that stance because their hands are somewhat tied because they want a good relationship with the dealers and they also have to adhere to the franchise laws, but these price markups are getting out of hand. It looks like they've finally had enough of this behavior from their dealerships because recently they've taken a new stance. Ford is now threatening to not give some dealerships that are acquiring these ridiculous markups any inventory of the new Lightning. They recently made this announcement. We've heard a limited number of dealerships are interacting with customers in a manner that is negatively impacting customer satisfaction. If Ford determines that a dealership is engaging in such practices, we reserve the right to redirect that dealership's allocation of the F-150 Lightning for the entirety of the 2022 model year. So what Ford is doing is saying to the dealerships, hey, we can't stop you from charging these insane amounts and hurting our reputation and customers, but we can decide not to give you any any of the new trucks to sell. And while I don't think it's perfect, I gotta say hats off to Ford for finally taking some real and measurable action. They're finally playing hardball with their dealership network and going to bat for their customers, and I think that's commendable. I will say I'm a little bit nervous that an unintended consequence of Ford's stance is this situation, which I was reading through Ford's forums and it has happened with the Ford Bronco, which was another wildly popular and pre-ordered vehicle that dealerships put massive markups on. So here's what happened. People pre-ordered the Bronco and then seeing the huge demand, some dealerships added a ridiculous markup and some people put down the deposit to keep their place in line at those dealerships, which like the email said, the deposit is non-refundable. So then picture this, you're pissed that the dealership is asking you for more money, but you want the car or truck. So you pay the non-refundable deposit and then Ford steps in and stops allocating vehicles to your dealership because of their practices, but you've already made the non-refundable deposit. Now Ford has said that customers will have the ability to transfer their order to another dealer through the customer resource center, but it's not clear how much control Ford will have as far as the non-refundable deposits that have already been paid and if they'll be able to transfer that money to a different dealership. And another reason Ford's proposed fix isn't perfect is that they're having customers sign a contract which bars the customers from selling the new truck for at least a year. This is to stop people from buying the trucks just to turn around and flip them for profit, which makes sense, but I could see some customers buying the truck and then not liking it, but having to keep it for a year because of their contract. But that's not even the end of it. Dealerships have already figured one way around Ford's new policy, which is basically that they get sneaky and they do things under the table. I've heard anecdotes reports of dealerships making agreements with customers that they won't charge them over the MSRP on the surface so that they don't get spotted by Ford's watchful eye. But then they charge a ridiculously high fee on the delivery instead. This allows them to charge over MSRP without technically charging over MSRP. The fact of the matter is, no system is perfect, and when you have dealerships that are wanting to find a workaround so they can charge customers extra, the reality of the situation is they can, and while Ford is going to do their best to put a stop to it, they don't have full control because at the end of the day, the dealership is a separate entity. Ford doesn't have the power to tell dealerships exactly what to do. And dealerships don't always have Ford's or the customer's best interest in mind. And that's where we have the problem. It's inefficiency that's built into the system by laws because dealerships are required for new car sales by law, which means in order to change the situation, we have to change the laws. There are many that defend the current dealership system and say that customers want dealerships because they offer value through test drives and services and knowledgeable staff and things like that. And that is totally true. Dealerships can offer value to people. But my point is, but my point is that the customer should be able to choose if they want to buy through a dealership or buy directly from the manufacturer. In the current system, the dealership is protected by law. So we can't say that people want dealerships because they don't have any other choice. What I think we need to do is remove the laws protecting dealerships and let the customers decide if they prefer them or if they preferred buying directly from the manufacturer. So as for Ford's actions, I say it's a step in the right direction, but it seems to me that they're trying to treat the symptom of the problem and not the actual problem. In order to enact real change, we have to be willing to change the laws, which means putting pressure on Ford, the dealerships, and most importantly, politicians. 
As always, huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. They're the reason I can keep making videos like this. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do it. If you liked the video, give me a like and subscribe. If you loved the video, think about tossing some support my way on Patreon, but only if you have spare income. If you need the money, please keep it for yourself. Also, if you find an article that's pushing an agenda or spreading misinformation or taking advantage of consumers, send it my way. My info is down below like always. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. See you all in the next one.